Good day, sir. My name is Hubert James P. Parangge. So, I'm gonna report about the 22.1, the introduction of opti, opto-electronic devices. So, opto-electronic devices is the technology that combines optic and electronics and the devices based on this technology. These devices include emitter, sensors, and optocouples or optoisolator. Optoisolator. These devices may be categorized as follows. Number one, devices that detect optical signals through electronic process such as photo detector. And number two is device, devices that convert optical radiation into electrical energy such as pho photovoltaic devices or solar cell. For number three, devices that convert electrical energy into optical radiation such as light emitting diodes, LEDs, and the laser light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation diode. So characteristics of photodetectors and solar cell. At its operating wavelength, um, photodetectors should have high sensitive high response speed, minimum noise, small size, low voltage, and high reliability under operating condition. So, photo detector are semiconductor devices that can be used to detect the presence of photons and convert optical signals into electrical signals. So, photo conductor, uh, photo conductor generated excess EHPS changes conductivity of semiconductor is perhaps the simplest type of photo detector. So, photodiode is a two-terminal uh, device designed to respond to photon absorption. So, PN junction diode operated with a reverse bias voltage applied. The output terminal of the solar or photovoltaic cell are connected to a resistive load in order to convert input optical power into electrical power. So, uh, <coughs> optical devices have a family tree. So, optical devices, excess carriers are created and then recombine, which may cause emission of photons in a forward bias. PN junction, such a device, is called light emitting diode, LED. The LED photon emission is due to a spontaneous transition of a electron from conduction to the valence band resulting in fairly wide spectral output bandwidth so led led spectral output has a relative wide bandwidth of wavelength but emission spectrum is narrow enough so that a particular color is uh, red orange yellow or green will be visible to the eye provided that the output is a visible range so laser diode is relies on the concept of stimulation stimulated emission and population inversion and on the use of an optical resonant cavity. <clears throat> so optoelectronic devices application is a, a propeller di display of message by virtual LEDs and LED based automatic emergency light means operated LED light display a dial telephone numbers on 7 segment di display solar powered LED street light with the auto intensity control. So total light energy is a output or luminous flux from a source is defined as the total quantity of light energy emitted per second from a luminous body. So it is a represented by a symbol F or flux and is measured in a milliwatts or in lumens. So where 1 lumens is equal to 1.496 uh, meter watts. So the conception of luminous flux help us to specify the output and efficiency of a given light light source. So luminous intensity <coughs> is a direction of luminous flux emitted by the source per unit solid angle. So measure in direction in which intensity is required. So it is noted by a symbol I and is measured in a candela or CD or lumens per stiradian. So total lumens given out by the source of one candela is 4 pi lumens. So when the light falls upon any surface, 
Um, the phenomenon, the phenomenon is called lumination. It is defined as the number of lumens failing, falling on the surfer, surface per unit area. So this, it is um, denoted by a symbol E and is measured in lumens per square meter or lux meter candle. So if a flux of lumen falls uh, on surface of area A, the lumination of that surface is E is equal to flux over A lumens over meter squared or lux LX. So for next topic naman is 22.1 uh, 22.2 photoconductivity which is when excess electrons and holes are produced in a semiconductor there is a corresponding increase in conductivity of a sample as indicated by the following equation. So conductivity of semiconductor is 0 is equals to J over E is equals to E of P mu H plus N mu E. So when the excess carrier in a semiconductor are due to optical luminescence, so the resulting conductivity is called product, uh, photoconductivity. This is a important effect which useful application in analysis of semiconductor materials and in the operation of different types of devices. So, photo, uh, photoconductive effect is explained as follows. So, conductivity of a materials is a proportional to the concentration of charge carrier presence as indicated by equation. So, radiant energy supply to the semiconductor causes covalent bonds to the broken end EHPS in excess of those generated thermally as a produce. So, this increased current reduces the resistance of the material and therefore, such as device is called a photoconductor or photoresistor. So, photo excitation and semiconductor. <coughs> Energy diagram of semiconductor having a both acceptor and donor impurities is given in the figure. When this specimen is illuminated by the photons of sufficient energies, the possible transitions are follows. An EHP can be generated by a high energy photons in what is called intrinsic in excitation. So a photon may excite a donor electron into a conduction band or a valence electron may move into a acceptor state. So the last two transition are called in the impurity excitation. Since the density of states, the conduction and valence bonds greatly exceeds the density of impurity states for the conductivity is due to principally to intrinsic excitation. So, a spectral response. So, the minimum energy of photons required for intrinsic excitation is the forbidden gap energy, e.g., in electron volts of the semiconductor materials. Um, the long wavelength thresholds of the materials is defined as the wavelength corresponding to the energy gap, e.g., and is given by. The equation so gamma is equals to 1.24 over eg is it over my uh, microns so for silicon eg is equals to um 1.1 <coughs> e volts and gamma c is equals to 1.13 microns whereas for germanium eg is equals to 0 uh 0 0.72 ev and gamma c is equals to 1.73 microns at room temperature so wavelength gamma and micron. So the noteworthy point is that the long wavelength limit is slightly greater than the calculated values of gamma C. So this is due to impurity excitation. With decrease of the wavelength, the response increases and attains a maximum value. <coughs> so photoconductive current. So it carries it carriers uh, generated by a photo excitation will move under the influence of an applied field. If they survive recombination, they reach the ohmic contacts at the ends of the semiconductor bar and thus device current will be constituted. So I is equals I is equals to E G over I L over L T. So where G L is the generation rate of excess carrier. In C <coughs> minus G S is equals 1 produce a uh, optical luminescence of T is the average lifetime of the newly generated carriers and T is the average transit time for carriers to reach the ohmic um, contacts. So photoconductor, uh, the special semiconductor bar 
with ohmic contacts at each end and voltage applied between the terminal. So when the excess carriers are created and semiconductor conductivity becomes a dot formula. So where <coughs> SN and SP are excess electron and hole concentration respectively considering an N-type semiconductor. So it can be assumed that SN equals to SP using SP as the concentration of excess carrier in steady state that carrier's concentration is given by SP is equals to uh, GL then TH. So where GL is the uh, generation rate of excess carrier and TH is the lifetime of excess monarity carrier. So the change in conductivity due to the optical excitation called a photoconductivity is then uh, that formula. So applied uh, voltage induces an electric field in the semiconductor and the current is caused by uh, the electric field. So the current density is given by that formula. So that's all. Thank you.